on that regulator that went bad on my bike. I bought a used one on eBay, 40 bucks. It lasts a week. <laughs> I didn't make a video because I thought I was just gonna go <clears throat> for a short ride. Two up, me and my girlfriend on the bike. She's on the back of the bike. Went for a quick ride. We were almost we ran out of almost ran out of gas. I put it on reserve. Went to the gas, just made it to the gas station on reserve. And I told the wrenches don't start until something happens. I mean it was it was it was like putt 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 putt. I was almost out of gas on reserve. And uh, made it to the gas station, turned the bike off, filled the tank, let's go start it. The bar's like turn round round like that. I'm like, oh no. <clears throat> I did install this uh Voltage tester on the bike. Let me turn it on. This told me right away the bike wasn't charging. <clears throat> it read 12 or 11 point something. I knew right away the regulator went bad. So it's good about what's good about um, a bike like this. I think all motorcycles, I think. You could jump start it <clears throat> and you really don't need the battery. Um, so I made it home and uh, long story short, you gotta buy new stuff. I went on eBay, paid 40 bucks for a used regulator. I came off a, a bike that was wrecked. So, I got to buy a new one. I called Kawasaki. They told me $300 for this stupid regulator. That's crazy. The guy says he could probably give me a better price if I come inside, pay cash, whatever. That's why I went to eBay. Because it's only 40 bucks compared to like $250, $300. But, I should have known better. Never buy used electronic parts, you know? And he said these regulators go on bikes all the time. They don't know why, they just do. The first Gen 1 KL, uh, KLRs, the generator was under the seat. <clears throat> and he said it got too hot under there, that's why they thought it was blowing. So they put it up front so it gets air from the radiator. He said they go bad on all bikes. So, just a quick update. The regular I put in lasts about a week. <laughs> and so I'm going to go bite the bullet and buy a spanking brand new one. Now, there are some aftermarket ones you can get that fit different bikes. But I'm not splicing into my harness. You have to splice the wires together. He says they will work for like 150, 175. But you got to do some cutting in your harness. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to buy a brand new one from Kawasaki. And that's it. That is it. So. I just want to tell you guys. When it comes to electronics. Just bite the bullet. Bite no. Take it from uh, my mistake. I should have done it. But. There's a 50-50 chance it would work. <clears throat> and it did, and, and it, it went out. So, there you go. Talk to you later.